Greetings YouTube, welcome to my very first episode of a new game. The game is called Defiance. Okay, the Votan's arrival were more immigration than invasion. Peaceful attempts to integrate collapse. Okay, the earth tra was transformed, extinction seemed inevitable until the Battle of Defiance. Human Votan soldiers defied orders and united to save innocent lives. This valiant act inspired the belief that we must brave the new frontier together. Earth Republic star, uh, Stratocarrier New Freedom. West Coast. Alright, so yes, this is Defiance, and as you can see, we're right in the game already. Uh, we haven't made it to the character creation screen yet because there's a little bit of a backstory before that. So we're going to let the backstory play a little bit and I'm going to show you guys how to get into this. And I deleted a previous character to create this new one so we could see what is going on. your men in line, Captain Grant. I want my equipment out of storage. My Ark Hunters and I depart as soon as we land. The Earth Republic is in a limousine service. Your gear's locked up and we don't have time to dig it out. Now please, find your seat. No offense, Captain, but I think your orders were to do as I ask. My orders come from my superiors. People in Manhattan wearing uniforms. Like this. And those orders are to keep you safe while you locate your alleged Arctech. Alleged Arctech? There is no alleged, Captain. Do you see this? With this Arc core and the rest of the technology that I'll find in the Bay Area, I will repair this world. And be its hero, of course. You're in a restricted area. Get to your seat. If anything happens to my gear, I'll send the bill to your superiors. Let's move, people. Time's ticking. What is this? A dorm room? Everyone, get to your seats. You two. Let's go. No problem, Captain. You too. Alright, so we're now finally at the character creation screen. Now, you can see that there is several species to choose from. One is Erythiant male and Erythiant female. Uh, they, these two are locked because they're part of the, uh, the pack that I don't have. It's this pack down here, the Defiance Art Tech Revolution pack. Uh, it's a DLC pack, and I don't have it because I haven't paid for the game. I'm on free to play. I'm not. Uh, I'm not paying for this thing yet. So uh, we are going to do human male, and archetype. Origin, survivalist, let's see, veteran, survivalist, outlaw, mechanist, outlaw. I'm real partial to the outlaw, but I think I want to go with the veteran because they've got some 
really good weapons, and so does the Mechanist. They These guys are just bad to the bone. So those are who I'm leaning between. Let's try the Mechanist first, because he seems to... Uh, and if we want to go back later, we'll we'll do that. But uh, right now, I want to change the skin color. And just play with these settings a little bit to show you guys through here. There we go. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, soldier. Hey. All right. So I like one. I also like three. Soldier. Veteran. Hey, how's the violence? What's up? Hey, friend. So one, three, and six seem to be pretty good, pretty Soldier. deep voices. Hey. Okay. So, bone structure. Uh, shallow. Oh man, that gives him a big chin. Uh, a bit more shallow chin makes him a bit more rounded. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like four and seven. I think I'll go with seven. All right. Two, one, let's do one, three, four, seven, we'll go with two. Okay, continue. I color. Okay, continue. Air style, there we go. I did this intentionally so you could see what the hair does all the way around the head because certain ways it looks good, certain ways it doesn't. So you've got to just really take a look. I like... Uh, no, I don't think so. No, no. Uh, that looks good from the side, but in the front, it doesn't look great. So, uh, that looks good from the side, too, but still, once again, in the front, not real partial to it. Let's see. Uh, that'll work. Uh, hair color, blonde. And, of course, you can't do custom colors, because if I could, I'd do it white with frost blue tips. But, hey. Can't win them all. Facial hair. There we go. I like that. Let's do four, five, six, seven. Okay, that works. Perfect. Eight is perfect. All right. Now, this I've seen before. Blemishes. That is like scars and stuff on the face. So let me show you that. You got that. You've got the scars on the right, uh, the left side of the face. And let's see, what did that do? That uh, I don't know what that did. Well, that one you could tell. Look at his left eye. Uh, six is burns on that side of his face. There you go. 
cut scrape right there and look right there by his lip another one eight okay it looks like there might be something going on right up underneath the chin there but I can't tell for sure because of the shading a two? I like two. Yeah, it gives them a rough look. One, we can give them clean cut. Okay, so let's see if he's got, if we can do some tattoos. Let me see what that is. Ooh. Scorpion. What is that one? Wow, I like that. Check that out. Face paint. Nah. 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 Eh. Eh. Covers up the tattoo. We'll stay with normal. Alright, and we'll confirm. And of course, my name. And we don't have much time to test this, so I might have to finish recording later this afternoon because I've got some other stuff going on. Now, but Mark Hunter. Hold on, Captain. That one isn't wearing your beloved uniform. They don't take orders from you. Sorry about that, friend. We landed ten. Strap in. I never got to brief you on your ego implant, so we really need to. What the hell? Sir, they need you on the bridge. I think I will actually get to my seat. When we land, don't go anywhere. The ego activation can be a bit jarring without a proper briefing. Relax. It's just a little turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all gonna die. She's actually quite charming once you get to know her. Yeah, pretty hairy situation there. yourself, Cass. This could be real bad. Okay. Uh, which one of these dealies opens this bitch? Oh, nice. Holy stucco. You're alive. Name's Cass Ducard. I saw you land. Well, maybe that's not the right word. It was more smashing into the ground than landing. I sort of expected you to be a bowl of soup in there. Um, what are you doing? Whoa, are you okay? You need help? 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 Can you hear me? You need to sit down. Here, sit down before you pass out. I'm sure you took more than a bump to the head, so rest. Get your feet under you. I'm going to go see if anyone else needs help. Oh, you might want to arm yourself a bit more. The locals aren't known for their charm. Hello. Oh, great. You can hear me now. I can sense your nervousness, but don't fret. 
I'm the environmental guardian online device that was injected into your body. You can just call me Eco. Please forgive me. I'm having some trouble getting all the behaviors activated, so you might experience a few hitches at the beginning. But I'll sort it out. We have lots to go over, so we should start. All right, so the way this is working is there's your firing, that's your zoom, and these are your trigger buttons on your mouse. All right, so WASD is your movement. All right, you go up, E activates everything. We need to find Mr. Von Bach, but first we need to gear up. M, the map, this is where you are. All right, so straight ahead. Excellent. Once you equip that, it will allow me to activate the shield. All right, so you equip it by double clicking it. All right, so I don't have another weapon, so And by the way, I set the mouse sensitivity lower because when you start, the mouse sensitivity is going to be really high and you're not going to be able to control it. So yeah. Alright, so this video is only going to go about four more minutes uh, for the time being. And I might have to pause it. And. Ooh. and resume this afternoon. Alright, so our second weapon where... Let's go get it real quick. I want to at least get to that before uh, before we have to call it quits. Alright, and this is ammo cache, so you want to refill your ammo. Go right there, press E. Knock it out. Alright, so... We're going to go back over here. Oh shoot. These guys are dangerous later on. Right now they're just target practice. Alright, so you want to press E on that. The light machine gun is big, loud, and powerful. Its bursts are capable of crippling the enemy from both close and afar. work better for specific situations, so you want to get used to switching back and forth between the primary and secondary weapons. I'm detecting some explosives nearby. We could definitely use those. I put the location on the map. Okay, come on. Pick up the stuff.
All right. So those two towers, you got guys in them. Don't forget about that. And that's what happens when you die. And we're going to call it right there. All right, guys, we are back. It's already after the noon time that I said I was going to be back. Uh, and hopefully we'll pick up right where we left off. Oh, it sounds like we are. According to my readings, those creatures are actually humans. However, their DNA is severely mutated. Yes, ma'am. You told us that this morning. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. 
Gonna reload. Oh, and by the way, the run is a toggle, left shift. Um, you turn it on by hitting it once. And then, as you can see, I'm running. And it won't stop running until you let go of the forward key. All right, so let's get the pod. This supply pod is filled with grenades. Grab one and equip it. All right, now what I did right there was hit escape instead of L because it's a little bit quicker. I don't have to look for escape on there. L is kind of an awkward key for that, so I might have to change that up. All right, so we just got ourselves a brand new weapon. Don't stray too far from my projection. We need to calibrate some behaviors before moving on. Yeah, I got you. I'm just checking around, seeing if there's more ammo or more guns or anything around here. All right, that was another pod, like the one I was in. Hello, explosion. I knew I couldn't have got two of them with one shot. There we go. This gun's hard to control. Now that we're geared up, it's time to train you on the ego powers. All right. So train me. First, we'll try cloak. When using cloak, you are completely invisible to enemies. Use the power to sneak up behind the projections and attack. There we go. Cloak must be activated to sneak behind the projections and attack. Now we'll test the overcharge power. While using overcharge, your damage inflicted on the enemy is significantly increased. Shoot the projection while overcharge is activated. I will enable the decoy power now. Decoy allows us to create a projection in your likeness that will fool and distract the enemy. Take down the projections while they're distracted by your decoy. This is sad. Oh, come on, hit the guy. You must activate the blur power and strike these projections with melee attacks. You must activate the blur power and strike these projections with melee attacks. I did strike him with melee attacks, damn it. Projections with 
I heard you the first four fucking times you told me. You must activate the blur power and strike these projections with Mayla the Bruce. You must activate the blur power Thank you. and strike these projections with melee attacks. Gosh, dog. You'll need to choose an ego power for me These are... The aggressive choice. I like it. Yeah, I do too. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm receiving a signal. But can anyone hear me? I need help down here. It looks like the mutants are getting organized for an attack. No, we better help her. Hello, Mayla. Hello, Mayla. Hello, Mayla. Now, if you look down in the bottom left of the screen, I just refilled 500 po uh, ammo. Let's check out that reactor. I'm sure we'll be able to use it to our I've gone it. Almost there. Keep those mutants away from the reactor. And that's completing mission number one. Thanks. You have an ego implant, don't you? That's amazing. First time I've ever seen one in action. You know, I think we're going to make one hell of a team. A little backup can take you a long way in this crazy place. I'm heading to the crash <laughs> They're gonna need help. I'm sure we'll be in contact. Our hunter. That four-wheeler said dodge on it. <laughs> Anybody seen that? Alright, so... We've already beat the first mission, and... I'm sure this... Those with guns... 
those who lose Ark Falls. I'm pretty sure that, uh... Varys has another contract available, and he's offering more than usual, which Hold is on. suspicious. My systems have reached a threshold where upgrades have become available. You may now spend an ego unit. We should meet him at the crater. Uh, so... We're reaching the point of the video where it's time to wrap up because we're getting a little long there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet this guy at the crater, and I'll see you guys next episode. Later.